Good morning, it is so good to see you. I hope you're ready to have an amazing day today. Let's get ready together. I'm all about the warm and beautiful kind of daytime smoky eyes. So the palettes that I'm using for this look are going to be, of course, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette for Pan That Palette Challenge, and I'm pairing it with the Too Faced Sugar Pop Palette. So um, if you're wanting to reach out for your um, Chocolate Bar Palette, the shades that I'm going to be using today are gonna be White Chocolate, hazelnut um i've got triple fudge in my brows and then i think oh and uh creme brulee for a beautiful gold shade and then going on to the Too faced sugar pop palette if you're going to shop your stash because i know this palette isn't as um, common anymore to see on youtube threads the shades that i'm using are going to be a mix of bubblegum and macaron this sweet and spicy shade so in terms of highlighter something like mary luminizer would be pretty close. It's not, it's well, technically Mary Luminizer is a little bit more shimmery than this shade, but kind of a beautiful lighter gold, but has kind of a cream finish um, to make an easy highlight. And then I'm gonna be going through with a very strong blue eyeliner and some teal liner and a bright red blush and then a nude lip. So let's go on and get into it. The first thing that I'm doing is I went on and primed my eyes with my Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer and I've gone through and filled in my brows with the shade Triple Fudge from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. So as we get into the look, the easiest way to start this off and make the pink and the orange a lot more wearable for every day, go through with white chocolate all over your lid. I'm using a fluffy, it's actually a concealer brush from e.l.f. It's one of my absolute favorite brushes of all time. So go in with your favorite all over eye color brush, sweep it across your lid, you are good to go. Then the next thing I'm doing is I really want to have a gold lid, but I like to lighten it up because it's quite a bit more flattering for me. So I'm going in with a champagne eyeshadow base just all over the lid. This one happens to be from Julep, but you have many options available to you. You can go in with Maybelline, you can go in with um, MAC, you can go in with uh, any of your favorite cream shadow brands. So you don't have to Stick with just one, go in with your favorite champagne. And then what I'm doing is I'm taking this e.l.f. C brush and I'm patting the shade Creme Brulee on the top of my lid. If you're not using Too Faced Chocolate Bar, go in with like Lorac Pro's Light Bronze or Urban Decay's um, Half Baked or any of your favorite gold shadows from your favorite palette. There is no limit to what you can do in terms of gold. If you want a warmer gold, go for it. If you want a cooler gold, go for it. They all work really well. Even if you go in with like a greener gold um, from the NARS Kawaii Duo, it works beautifully with this look. And then going into the pop of fun, pop of color, it is very wearable for everyday purposes, but it's going to look a little intense for right now. You're going to go in with a hot pink mixed with a coral orange color. Um, a lot of us have different hot pink shades. You could even mix a blush with a tangerine shade if you want to come up with your own shade. The other shade I'm thinking of in addition to, let me show you, with Macaron and Bubblegum, I even thought about pairing in the shade Apricot from the Lorac Mega Pro Palette. Not quite as intense, but if you're wanting something a little bit more every day, if this is kind of a scary combination for you, go for it. You don't have to be afraid of it. But what I'm doing is I'm mixing between Bubblegum and Macaron. I kind of air more on the orange side because otherwise the pink is really really intense as you can see with my pan there's a lot of fallout to the shadow but i'm just running it into my transition area you can build this color up as intensely as you want or you can wear it as sheerly as you want so go for it whatever makes you comfortable i happen to like it a little bit more intense because i'm wearing it under glasses so in order to see my eye look I do have to build up those shades a little bit more than I would if I were wearing contacts for the day. So then next step, it's not necessary, but I do it to amp up my highlight. I'm just going through with a white eyeliner. This is a very basic one from NYX. Go through with every your, your favorite white eyeliners, or if you have the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil and Milk, perfect, perfect, perfect. It, it amps up the shadow just enough if you're wearing your glasses or if you want a very stark inner corner because we are going to go over it with the sweet and spicy shade from the Too Faced Sugar Pop palette. It helps kind of take it up a notch and make it a little more prominent with the rest of your eye look because that pink does kind of 
dominate <laughs> the eyes let's get real so then going through with a highlighting shade i chose this sweet and spicy shade from the sugar pop palette i'm going through with the sonia kashuk flattened eye eyeshadow brush but again you're not limited to this shadow if you have another favorite highlighter in your collection i would suggest going with something that has a little bit more of a yellow tone maybe a little bit more gold kind of a white gold finish um so that you really anchor it down with creme brulee and bring in the tones of that orange shadow mixed in your transition area but if you have a favorite highlighter go for it there's absolutely nothing that you can't do you can make it work with this look so um, basically I'm just going through and I'm stamping this in on top of that white eyeliner pencil and then I am going on and applying it to my brow bone. Then the fun part. If you want to stay consistently with the Too Faced Sugar Pop palette for your crease, I would suggest building up this shade called Malted Milk Ball on a fluffy crease brush in the outer V of your eye, blend it up into that pink. I happened to choose using Hazelnut for my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette because I wanted kind of a lighter bronzy side. If you want a more intense bronze eye look in your crease, mix Hazelnut and Gilded Ganache. Did I ever mention this? So one of the things I've discovered about that is when you mix Gilded Ganache with um, Hazelnut, it makes a pretty much exact replica to Urban Decay Smog. So if you really like those intense bronzy tones, that might be an easier way for you to get through that shadow as well. I'm just using Hazelnut because I want something kind of light, carefree, little on the smoky side, but on the lighter end of it. Does that make any sense at all? Probably not, but I'm going through with hazelnut on that fluffy eyeshadow crease brush. This one happens to be from Revlon. I'm stamping it into the outer corners of my eye and I'm blending it up about halfway across my eye into the pink so that way the pink isn't just glaring out. It's more of like a, a peak of pink and orange. So again, build this up to the intensity that you prefer and it will be good to go. And like I said, if you want to have a really, really intense bronzy eye, like maybe you're going out for dinner that night, mix a little bit of Gilded Ganache in there. It is gorgeous. Then in terms of liner, I wanted to keep it really bright, fun, and summery. So I have gone on and lined my eyes with the Wet n Wild Pro Line Graphic Marker Eyeliner in the shade Airliner Blue. If you cannot get your hands on this at your local drugstores, a great substitute. I actually just had to buy this because this pen dried out on me. Um, this one is from CoverGirl. It is called the Intensify Me in the shade Sapphire. They're literally both felt tip liners and they have the exact same, well, Wet n Wild, you have to build up quite a bit, but very similar colors. So either one with the Wet n Wild or with the CoverGirl, you have options if you want to wear really strong blue. Then because I have hooded eyes, I went on and I've been wanting to pan these anyway. I used the Bare Mineral pigments that I chose for the Justice League Panning Challenge. I'm going in with this really intense navy blue and I am setting that liner on my um, upper lash line so that it does not transfer at all during the day. Then to keep this look, again, very summery, I want to have a very nude inner waterline. And so I'm going through with the MAC NC15 NW20 Studio Chromographic Pencil. Go with your favorite nude eyeliner. There's nothing specific, or if you want to have a white eyeliner, or if you want to bring in some blue again, like maybe a really light um, sky blue, that would be really pretty. And then on my lower lash line, I have followed it with the L'Oreal Silkisume Liner in the shade True Teal. And again, because I am trying to pan these colors, I went through with this teal shade from the Justice League painting challenge that I'm painting for Aquaman to set that on my lower lash line. And I only take it about halfway across um, because my eyes are kind of small and that way it, it brightens and, and opens my eye look up. And even though the, the eye colors are crazy, if you have dark brown eyes, this is absolutely perfect because that's what people are going to notice when they see your makeup. They're not necessarily gonna see pink eyeshadow. They're gonna notice how brown your eyes look. So I can't recommend this. Um, look enough. Then bronzer, I kept it really, really simple. I'm going through with this little palette I have from Tarte. This is the Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. I went through and I just did the um, contour areas of my face. Very super easy. Go through with your favorite bronzer. And then in terms of blush, I wanted to go really, really bright, 
really red. Um, again, I'm panning this color, but go for something really, really intense in your collection. This one is a bare mineral shade, but the dupe for it is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush and Blushing Bride. You want to give something that's going to give a very flattering flush to your skin tone. Even though reds are quite intimidating in the pan, they are actually very wearable on the cheeks for every day. So I'm going through with an e.l.f. blush brush and I'm dusting this over my cheeks. And then I take the tiniest little blending brush and I blend just a smidge into my crease to really anchor the look down and make it very cohesive. You don't have to do that step. It's something that I like to do and it also helps make blending seamless because then you've got the transition of, of your crease shades are blended out into your highlight. You've got a similar tone down to your blush. And then with your eye look and your blush down to your lips, everything is a seamless transition. So very, very easy. That's a tip that I've done for years. I love it. I cannot get enough of it. Then in terms of lips, I chose to go with a nude lip. You can also go bright. You can wear a, a coral. You can wear red. You can wear a bright pink. Go with whatever you feel like. But today I decided to go with a nude because I'm trying to pan these two lip products. So I am wearing my MAC lip liner in the shade Whirl topped with my Maybelline lipstick in the shade Warm Me Up. But like I said, this look is so versatile. You can pair it with just about anything that you like to wear in the summer. So have fun with it. Go bold. Have bright colors. Just have fun shopping your stash. So that is where we are with the look. I've been loving it. It's, it's what I've been panning for the past month with a couple of days of wearing some other things. So I'm also thinking I'm going to post another Get Ready With Me using the Too Faced Sugar Pop Palette focused around the shade Blackberry because this is another shade. Or if you're wanting something really kind of unicorn vibed focused on these colors, I have a look I will post in the card above me for that unicorn get ready with me look combining it with the Too Faced uh, Chocolate Bar palette. So that's it for now. And also I wanted to give you a heads up. Elle has so graciously started a fabulous Facebook page for the Project Panning family. I'm going to go on and link it in the description box below. Come on and join us. It is a great way for you to get connected if you are not um, um, established as a channel on YouTube or you don't like to do the whole chatting on Instagram or uh, comments on YouTube or whatnot. It gives you another way to jump in on the action, make some friends, and uh, talk shop about some makeup. So take care, have a fantastic rest of your day, and I look forward to catching up with you real soon. See ya.